How to find your competitor's target audience on Facebook ads. Hello everyone and welcome back. In today's video, I'll be showing you guys how you can take any competitor and try to find their target audience. Try to find how they are targeting the niche of people that would be interested in those types of products and how we can do that for free with Facebook Ad Library. So Facebook Ad Library is a free platform provided by Facebook, which lets you search across all the ads that are currently running across Meta. This can be ads about anything from anywhere. You can refine your search by location and by a particular keyword as well. And we can then explore how competitors are targeting audiences. So let's jump right in. Let's say I have a shoe brand and we have Danform Shoes over here that is possibly my competitor. So you can search via a keyword or a advertiser. If you're uncertain about who your competitor is, you can search by a keyword and then decide who your competitor is, or you can directly search across by a advertiser. So I'm going to search for Danform Shoes, and I have uh, marked this as the ad category of all ads, and then the location is going to be all. So I'm going to wait for this to load up, and it's showing me the advertiser of Danform Shoes. So I'm going to select that from here. Once I select that, if you scroll down, you will see their ads that they have currently launched, all the ads that are going. This is in the active status of ads. So all of these are active ads that they have running. Now, there are around 48 results for this. And if I scroll down, we can see ad details about every one of these ads. Now, you can see over here, we have quite a few of these ads running. Now, what we're gonna do is we can apply a filter. And when you apply a filter, this will allow you to narrow down locations, platforms, and languages that they are using. I know they're gonna be using English and I only want to view Facebook ads. Then below that, you can choose media types and I'm just going to use Facebook only. Now, a lot of their ads are on Facebook. Now, what I want to do is I want to click on see all ads and we have information about the advertiser. And this is running on both Facebook and Instagram. This is a pretty standard ad. Now, how can I derive data about their audience from here? So what you can do is you can open up that. If you just click on it, this will open up your ad. So I want to open this up in Facebook. I can see the summarized details. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on see ad details. And once I click on the ad details, this is what the ad looks like. This is the ad copy. Now I want to filter this location. So what I'm gonna do is let's say I search within the United States. Let's say I want to search in Virginia. I'll have to search within the United States like this. And once I do that, I am going to again, you know, search within the all ads category. And then I'm going to search for Dan Farm shoes. And this will show me all of the ads they have within the United States. Then you can specify every location and with the location you will have better understanding what type of people they are targeting so this allows you to just see the location of the people now another way to cross check what you're finding out so if you take a look at you know the ads by danform or let's say i'll do another business as well so i just go on ahead over here i'll go into all and i'll search in all ads categories and what I'm going to do is I am going to search for, let's say, winter boots. And you guys can see there are probably going to be hundreds and thousands of ads related to that. But we can see there are quite a few different ones. We have secret label and this looks like a brand within the UK, I think. So if I go on ahead and open this up, what I can do is once I have an understanding, okay, they're targeting this particular country, the next step you can do is you can open up the particular Facebook profile and you can see the likes. So who has liked or reacted this? And you can open up those profiles and you can usually get some ideas on where this person is located. So City University London. Then if I scroll down on Secret Label, I can go on ahead and see the rest of their locations as well. This is not something you have to, you know, do for every single thing you search or you don't have to look at every single profile. Just a brief overview is going to do you wonders. So again, this person lives in the UK. This is like Hester. And then this person lives in Bolton. 
then we have City University London, and then I can scroll down and I can see how they are targeting specifically probably to London or they are targeting their ads just within the United Kingdom. Now, if I was to compare this to Dan Farm Shoes, now this is a very regional brand within the United States and I can just open up their likes and I can just see, okay, so this person is from uh, Vermont, then this person does not have their location, this person is also from Vermont, this person is a uh, central school district, whatever, so we couldn't. I don't like to dive deep into the profiles. You don't have to do that. That could take too much time. But you guys can see most of the people that have liked this are from Vermont. You know the reason why? Because they are shoes that are long wearing, that are meant to be athletic, sporty. And these shoes are, you know, boots. So they're targeting people from the northern areas of the United States. And that is how you find how competitors are targeting their audiences. Meta has a lot of amazing advert tools, which can help you in filtering out and better understanding how advertisements are going to work on Meta. So again, let's say I'll search within my region. I will search for dress. Okay. And once I do that, I can actually see all of the brands that are currently advertising for this particular keyword and what kind of reactions they are getting. Then I can open up the profile of that brand and then I can open up the likes. So who is liking and where are they from? Is there a consistent location? Is there a consistent gender that I can find? And this is going to be super helpful for you to better understand the audiences that might be the best for your content as well. So I hope you guys found this video helpful and you are now able to create advertisements that are able to target the correct audiences for your branded content. If you did find this video helpful and you have better learned how you can find competitors and how you can find the audiences of your competitors and how you can replicate those, and you can actually use their data to just boost your own ranking. And if you want to know about anything else, whether it be Facebook ad library, Shopify, TikTok shop, or anything else that you would like to learn, make sure to like this video and subscribe to the YouTube channel and comment down below the best tips and tricks that I have taught you within this video. And make sure to also share this video with your friends and family and to other creators as well so you can help them out as well. And to anyone that might need to know this basic detailed platform and how you navigate through these different social websites. So I hope this was helpful enough for you and make sure that you do leave a comment down below if I missed out on anything and if there is anything you would like to add and I will catch you guys in the next video.